we are all so excited, pleased, and grateful that we have finally gotten to this point in time. People have been working on this project for decades, and we are now at the finish line. And we would have been here before now, but for a federal judge who actually did not do good work and who has already been overturned by a court of appeals. And so the federal government said to itself, we're done. We can go forward now and give the state the money and allow this project to go forward. Many of us felt that the federal judge's ruling was so egregious that when the Court of Appeals stepped up and said, no, we are reinstating the record of decision, that created the context in which we could have a final federal funding agreement. And so the federal government was as offended by the judge as our state was and our county was, and so it was the right thing to do. Are you always surprised when people do the right thing? Unfortunately, sometimes yes. Well, anytime we increase mass transit opportunities, particularly first class mass transit opportunities for our residents, that is a very positive thing. So to connect Silver Spring and Bethesda all by itself is a huge deal. Instead of people getting on the metro in Silver Spring going all the way down, all the way back up to get to Bethesda, we'll now make that trip so much faster. And now to connect with the intellectual capital of our state at College Park and University of Maryland. That is a tremendous advantage. So now we will have the intellectual capital and our commercial capitals coming together in this seamless way, connecting with Metro. That improves the quality of life, eases congestion, and produces economic opportunities. That's a win-win-win.